We are here at Keller Williams Richmond West, the best brokerage in the greater Richmond metropolitan area. And I am Tara Adams, um, the diversity, equity, and inclusion chair here on the ALC. And this is the outstanding Veronica Crump. Um, Veronica, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? As you said, I am Veronica Crump, Crump Properties here at Keller Williams. I've been a realtor for a little over 20 some years. Been through a lot of different type of markets, um, have several different type of designations. I uh, was president of the Women's Council of Realtors in 2010, served on many committees with the Richmond Association of Realtors, the Virginia Association of Realtors, and I've been having a wonderful time selling real estate, learning, growing, and trying to put provide my customers with the best service available. This video is to talk about Juneteenth. 18 and 1800s, um, when the slaves were actually freed by Lincoln, people in Galveston, Texas did not know until about a year and a half later. The troops came to Galveston to let them know that they were free. You could not leave the actual plantation. You could not be treated as um, property anymore because you're no longer a slave. But they really did not want you to leave the plantation because you still had to work. So now you are working for your previous slave owner. You're doing the same type of work. Nothing really has changed. Now not only are you free, you find out that all around the country, not only were they free, but you had a lot of people who decided that, no, that was not good enough for me. You're not going to continuously enslave me and then think, give me three pennies and think that was so. Which is why from the 1800s through the 1900s, 1930s, something I think, um, you had several active, productive, all black communities. We had our own infrastructure going on. You have several several man-made lakes. If you actually do the history of those lakes, you will find out they were previously Black-owned communities, just like your Central Park. You know, recently, um, the NAACP, Henry Michael NAACP, hosted a housing event mm -hmm. in home, Housing Opportunities Made Equal. Um, they did a whole presentation on the state of housing, mm -hmm. not only in the U.S., but right here in Virginia. And to speak to what you just said, how um, different parts of the country, different areas were renamed for one reason or another, I had no idea that Blackwell is now Manchester. You move all your black people into one area. So they had to go somewhere where they could walk to work because you were not allowed to use public transportation. You couldn't do that. So you had to walk to work. And that's why they all congregated in Blackwell, because they could walk to the shipyards, you could walk to the railroad, you could walk to work. That's why all of your people congregated there. And they called it Blackwell because that's where all the black people went. Wow. Jackson Ward really was um, one of the hot spots in Richmond. Not only was that one of the places where, well, one of the first places in Richmond where your prominent black um, homeowners lived and operated, it was also where our um, financial structure was. We had a black bank, movie theater. We had um, our own restaurants. All of that was congregated right there in Jackson Ward. It was at a point really where if it was black in Richmond, you did not have to leave Jackson Ward. Everything that you were looking for was right there in Jackson Ward. It continues all throughout. Like, the guy was saying the other day, are we any better than we were with um, integration? Actually, we're worse off. Before integration, we own 30% more land and houses than we do now in 2023. Mm -hmm. The Juneteenth is just the tip of the iceberg. Juneteenth, you're skipping, you're skimming over all of the other stuff and just want to pick out a certain part that you can celebrate. And if you're going to teach the history, you have to actually teach the history. You can't teach this part, don't show that part. I don't like this, so I ain't gonna tell you about that part. It don't work like that. 
technically Juneteenth is supposed to be a, a historical moment. So it's part of your history. And in order for um, society to get away with doing the things they do, you have to believe what they tell you. If you do not know your history, then you believe what you're told. A lot of times they're able to get by with doing those things because not only do people believe what they're told, but they don't see others as actually human beings. So if I don't see you as a human being, then what's done to you is irrelevant because you, you're property. You have certain venues that will give you the history of it, why it's important and so forth like that. Well, um, with the mindset of a lot of people here, they're just using it as a vendor fair and a go party and so forth like that. They don't see it as being relevant as to their lives today. What I think needs to happen, we need to get back to um, not only teaching our own about our history, but showing them the relevance of it and why they need to propel it so it does not happen again. So they didn't teach about Juneteenth in history yeah. class. Absolutely not. We didn't learn about it in the black history. Uh, well, we didn't have no black history class. Right. And <laughs> it wasn't in the history books. Um, and my mother, who was very, very pro-black, she was from Harlem. And so she didn't know about Juneteenth. And so she didn't, that's part of the black history that was, was not passed yeah. down because she didn't know about it. It was passed down. So. It just came from the type, part of the country you came from. If you, everybody in Texas has been known for years. It's been right. celebrated in Texas for, since the 1800s. And once again, it wasn't um, celebrated publicly, just like your New Year's Eve. Um, I don't celebrate New Year's Eve. I do watch night. I found out a lot of people don't even know what watch night is, but that's part of your black history. Yeah. So, so say, same thing with Juneteenth. For a lot of people who were in Texas, um, it was passed down through the family history. Well, just with a lot of other things that were passed down through the family, you get um, your family got disrupted. You have black people who sit back and think it's not important. They don't think it's important because not only have they been assimilated, they don't know. You cannot support something you don't know anything about. You have no feelings for it. You have no acknowledgement of it. So if you make it a point to educate those who are willing to learn, that all of that would change because you is uh, what the um, coaches always say: the mind would expand and it looked like a rubber band. If you expand your mind, it doesn't go back. Same thing. You gotta expand your mind. You can follow the NAACP, the Urban League. Um, you can support the Black History Museum, just like many many other organizations. Once you are a member then you can get a lot of additional knowledge and information that the regular person coming through the door does not get. To acknowledge and commemorate Juneteenth here at Keller Williams Richmond West, we as an organization, we're going to go walk the ward. Um, the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Committee and the Culture Committee are collaborating efforts and we're going to take a tour of Jackson Ward and hear all about its history and then we're gonna to go to happy hour at a, one of our black owned restaurants. So you want to come and join us. That's next Thursday, the 22nd. If you haven't already signed up, please go ahead and do sign up, get your tickets. And if you hit me up and you need a ticket, I might find a sponsor for your ticket. So hit me up. I'm sure it's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful, sunny, bright, sunny day. And after we finish here and learning about that great history, we're going to have some happy hour socialization afterwards.